and we're live well, we're not live i'm recording this this time now because when we did it live last time it cut off it, it you know parts of our yes. conversation i know we talk a lot of bollocks but you have to hear it, some sort of evidence of a sentence and you can you need to hear the full bollocks to understand yeah the the full you know, bollocks part, of our bollocks. yeah <laughs> but we're back and uh, we're going to do audio this time round because i i've been ill i probably had covid and it wasn't looking great and i was coughing like a maniac anyway the other day so it wasn't when you say it wasn't looking great charlie you make it sound like you were dying <laughs> yeah i was turning into one of those walkers that would be good because i'm in a wheelchair so i don't know how that would work mm. so when so what happens to walkers then all right if you have been in a wheelchair all your life you've obviously yeah. don't get out of the wheelchair and just walk you're still what, what would you be you wouldn't be a walker um you'd be a dragger to drag your body along the people would probably say that anyway these people in wheelchairs are draggers what it would do um this is this is right, okay how about this so you you're in a wheelchair yeah everyone's known you for being in a wheelchair you become a zombie right and then suddenly you get out the wheelchair and walk about <laughs> you know what my luck my luck oh, would be he said lying he, what a lying shit yeah <laughs> lying to us his whole life yeah. take his benefits yeah. away take it take his benefits he's he's a, he's a walker he's a he's been a walker the whole time <laughs> and um, he gets extra shot yeah get shoot the shit out of him but that yeah. person's a criminal <laughs> Yeah, but you cheated benefits. Yeah. He, that, that zombie there's eating a baby. Yeah, but that one, he was in a wheelchair and now he's a walker. Wait a minute, this one can talk as well. He's a liar. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh... Oh, no, I'm not, I'm a zombie. Brains. Oh, what, you just got bacon on your face. Brains. Cool. All right. Oh, anyway. So basically... What is this podcast about? I don't know. But I know there's uh, hardly any people in wheelchairs or kids in The Walking Dead. Well, there's a reason why, because they don't want to, um, they don't want to shoot kids, even though they did, didn't they shoot one in the first episode? Watch Fear. Yeah. Yeah, Fear the Walking Dead. They do it quite a bit in that one. Not all the shoot time. Kids. Yeah, they just do it for fun. I think, shoot. I think that's made by someone that hates kids. I think so. You know what? That's not too bad. The first series was actually good. The second series wasn't bad. I haven't seen the other, so it's probably um, turns um, into yeah. a... I, I stopped on series four. Maybe it's dragging like those uh, wheelchair walkers. <laughs> no. Yeah. It, it, no, it wasn't. It, it was what they. It was like they had a. Um, oh. Not a rebrand. They had a re. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? What do they call it? A re. My brain has gone to mush. A re. Um, <coughs> refresh. They had a refresh. It seemed like after series two, every series. Yeah? Yeah. So this hasn't been working. We're going to change it all again. Yeah? Until the last, supposedly it was, it's you know, still carried on, and it was, it was quite good, but I don't reckon it was that bad, and it was a lot different to um, The Walking Dead, where it just put you straight in there with the walkers. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, build up I it. like the you build up. Know. I think I like the build up. Yeah, yeah, that was good. I was surprised because I thought it's going to be like cheaper. It it wasn't as expensive as in effects wise. We did get a bit better afterwards, the effects, so, yeah. yeah. I think, um, I think it was done by, it was Network. <coughs> yeah, it wasn't HBO. Oh. So, yeah. It, um, then it went on to some other sponsor, I think, afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. One thing is The Walking Dead doesn't have swearing in it. Yeah. Well, what does have swearing? See, this is going to be a good link. Is Twitter on real life? 
thanks to um, yeah. uh, Liverpool and their fans online and the amount of yeah. m- meltdown they've done recently. Why is we that? Are in, we're on a Twitter ap- apocalypse at the moment. Um, I think we are. But it has been quite exciting for once. Yeah. And yeah, may- maybe a little bonkers. Well, if you follow it like it's the truth, yeah. If you follow it like it's all of it's all facts. Yeah, then you get but it's like bipolar. It is exactly like that. It's like one, but happy and then sad, happy, sad, angry. So you get, you get some good news and then someone purposely out of spite is like negative and throws in some negative news. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's constant. But we, the only facts we know is that we put a bid in. For um, Saicedo from, from Brighton, yeah, yeah, for 111. We, we don't know the exact amount. This is that's all speculation, but we know it was a high bid, possibly over 100 million. It was a bid that right. Brighton accepted. Yeah. Oh, can you hear that? Police are after me. Yeah, they don't want to talk about um, Liverpool. Uh, yeah, so all we know is, is, is we can base that on what Klopp has said, that we put in a bid and we we are looking for a player. So th- we know that a bid was put in. Yeah. And we, but, but even now, supposedly Chelsea have put in a higher bid, but we don't know that as a fact. We don't know anything. We're still no. in the same position that we were uh, when Klopp had his press conference. Yeah, a lot of journalists or fake journalists have said that they have um they're gonna put a bid in they're gonna put a bid in they're still gonna put a bid yeah. in they're they're about to put a bid in two hours until they put a bid in uh yeah. they're gonna wait till tomorrow now well, what, what did we have we had a supposedly a deadline from brighton yeah which going going by the internet story is that there was a deadline we put in our bid they accepted it but for some reason they let the the um, deadline go on for another day so that Chelsea could put a bid in. Um, that don't make any sense. I don't believe any of it, to be honest. Oh, I believe no. we put a bid in. I think Chelsea are looking to put a bid in. I don't even know if they have done it yet. Um, like any any transfer, when there's two play, two clubs going for a player, or three or four, yeah. it's probably more than that. Yeah, You know, it, that's just how it is. And but yeah. we're just seeing it. Because these these lot FS FSG are being good at hiding transfers, mm-hmm. but we don't know until like we signed blah 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 like Gakpo. Yeah, Gakpo was like that came out of nowhere it seemed, but they're good at doing that. So this this all seems like this is Brighton putting out these rumours. This is Chelsea putting out these rumours. Yeah, not us. Yeah, this is definitely Chelsea in there, like. PR, a PR stunt, or trying to get maybe Liverpool to stop. <laughs> Just stop it. Stop it! Yeah. Walk away, please. It's, um... I think it's just... If you, if you, like I said, if you followed the story online, it's depressing in the end, yeah, the final result. Like, if you, if you followed it exactly, yeah? It's like, you know, it's like, it is like walk, in Walking Dead. Like, you go to one town, it all starts off really nice, everyone's nice. And then you look, and yeah. you look closer at the details, and it's not quite right, but you're still like, la, 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 you know, we're eating dinner, and then in the we're end, yeah. someone's insane, or the, one and of the, the leaders the are insane. Eyeballs. Yeah, and they're keeping, like, a load of zombies, and then it's all, like, sad again. That's basically what Twitter okay. is, it's like... Ah, something happy, and then you know if something depressing is going to happen. Well, it, you know, it's more like... Um, no, I'm walking dead because we're ma- talking it's about It's more like married with children. <laughs> Where it starts off bad, then something good happens for, for for Al Bundy, and you think he might actually, might actually do it, and then at the yeah. end, he's a loser who sells shoes. So... Will we be Al Bundy at the end, or will we be? But did he put himself character? into that situation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he could have had it all, but he decided. And he's living off the past. 
you know, past yeah. glories. Like FSG, past glories. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a terrible link there. Terrible. <laughs> shoehorned. Shoehorned from a shoehorn. Yeah, you did shoehorn that one in. But yeah. um, we don't know what's going to happen. Speculation. No. And if we get him, it'd be great. But yeah. uh, if we get L- Lavia. Lavia, that was our target. And the whole point of us going for a Brighton player was... So um, Chelsea would back away from Lavia, I think. Supposedly. I don't know. But that's what it, it could be, that's what it sounds like. It could be this. It could be Panic? Brighton and Chelsea <laughs> were using us, right? Knowing that the, like the even the agents, his agents knowing that he doesn't want to come to us, he wants to go to London. But if they just tell tell us uh yeah, he's interested, that yeah. means we put a bid in. If we put a bid in, that has to push Chelsea, who've been going on for months trying to sign this player. Yeah. And then it, it pushes them into doing it. So then they sign him and then, you know, Brian <laughs> get the money that they originally wanted, which was, you know, 100 million or over. So we're helping them out. Maybe Thanks. it will help us out with that Lovia deal. Yeah. And, and then uh, I hope, we get. Uh, you know what? I think he should go to Liverpool because he wants to come. Yeah. And I, supposedly I, I <laughs> yeah. Supposedly, that's another speculation thing going on. But if yeah, it's true, it is. and he's just putting them, he's in the, in this game of chess, thinking, yeah. what the hell is happening? Don't they want me anymore? Why are they putting in a bigger bid for that player? He doesn't know, does he? He's 19. No. Don't know the rules of the right. game. He's a young these are young players. Who... Yeah, they're both young, so I wouldn't even have a go. No, no. I, I, look, players, players sign, players don't sign. If we've got a hundred million to spend, that should be the thing that we're all looking at. Going, all right, yeah, you know, we've got that money. We can go out and get another midfielder. Yeah. And there's, and there's other players. People just think like Saicedo and. And uh, and Lavia are the only players. So who would I, who would you pick? Um, Matip. I put him. <laughs> huh. I put him in midfield. No, no. Right um, now, yeah, you probably have to put someone in midfield. But what what, who, what players do you reckon? I can't. I can't think like Klopp thinks. No. If he's, if he's going for Saicedo and. Lavia, supposedly, yeah. If we have put in bids, yeah. that means he wants an athletic, uh, young player, a lot of energy, <laughs> uh, with the right attitude, yeah, like for like training, things like that, teamwork, yeah, not going to be a big head, not going to be a prick. Exactly. So, if that's the case, there's plenty of those players about, there's plenty of young players in France. There's, there's you know, we, that's what he wants. He wants, I'm guessing, he's still looking for that. Level of like when Aldum's hard work. There was a player. Fabinho. Was, thought... This is all because of this is all because of Fabinho and Henderson. They they didn't they didn't know that they were going. That wasn't in the plan. That happened after. So they had them <laughs> two down as like experienced midfielders that we could use with a young player coming mm-hmm. in, and like him getting used to the team. Like Klopp's even said it. He said the team's different now. Without those two, without Henderson especially, the team is different. Like the he doesn't know what's what the sort of um, the atmosphere is going to be like. Yeah, among the players, they're going to have to learn. He said it's, he said it was like uh, like eight years ago or something like that. <laughs> if it feels like that again, like it's just starting again. So if that's the case, he's got to make sure he gets someone in who's going to have the right attitude that he wants. I know it's annoying for everyone else. With, like Klopp's got his his way of doing things and picking his players, yeah. but it, it works out normally unless they get. I mean, we've got him. till September the first anyway to get the players in, and yeah. look, the the start of the season, you know, you, you don't count much until it's been about ten games anyway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we can't do that again. I th- no. I think the Chelsea game they can't play the new player anyway. No, not allowed. He's not registered. So 
we can go into that game, sort our team out. Like he said, he just needs a, he needs a formation for this Chelsea game, not for the rest of the season. Yeah, because so, I think he already knows he's going to get a player in. He wouldn't have... Oh, look, if Klopp's saying things like this, yeah? Yeah. If Klopp's saying stuff like, we're going to... We only need it for this game, not for the rest of the season. What he's saying there is, we're going to have a player in after that game. Yeah. That's him. That's him. That's a statement saying, we're getting a player in. So get on with it. Yeah. I, I, even if Henderson and Fabinho didn't leave, it, there still should have been like players coming in. Like, uh, yeah, which is one, one more defense, bad. one more midfield would have been all right. Like a defensive midfielder. But, yeah, hard to get. but it would have been a young defensive but midfielder. Why is it One so a bit hard? older than by Chetic and some of the other young players we've got. Mm-hmm. But but and one that's at least played in the Premier League or had at least a season in like grown up football sort of thing. Yeah. I so think I think there was news that one. Klopp found the uh the missing link between apes and humans. But he couldn't get a, oh. a defensive midfielder. Right, you're out. You're out. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Well, let's hope that he. There's a lot. There's well. a lot of players out there. These aren't the only yeah. two players ever. No, that's what people keep saying. You know, it's like it's either well, if we can't go for him, let's go for the other one. You the other one. It's like there's thousands of players out there. Yeah, there's like tens of thousands. And just good go one. football manager. Just go and football manager and, and, and look. Half of them didn't know we were going to get certain players anyway. Well, of course they didn't. No one knows anything. I don't want to talk about the game, Chelsea game, but I, as long as we get our, a, the, not, um, the defensive midfielder at that position sorted on that game, yeah, I think we might be okay because Chelsea are... They can be random anyway. Yeah, I I think it's going to be a different Chelsea to what we played last season because Pochettino is a, a very good manager. So, and he's so, he's brought in some decent. Sadly, he, he is, but they still need to gel because they're new players. Of course. <laughs> so we will see what our, what will happen. Even if we got those players, we don't know what would happen in the Chelsea game. We'd have a better shot, but you never know. No, we could still lose. We can sure do. So, so it, no matter what, so <coughs> getting a player in tomorrow, the next day, we he still cannot play in Chelsea's the Chelsea game. So, no, Klopp still had this plan already where he was going to get a formation just for this game. What that formation is, we don't know. No. It'll be <laughs> Trent in that half and half role, which I hate, but he yeah. seems to like. Yeah. If um they could sort out the Robertson position and him knowing yeah. what to do, maybe he could just put, we can just he'll just have to yeah. put up with working it out. Yeah, because we're a bit we he are stuck. We, he knows we're weak in the middle. He mentioned that in the preseason games. He mentioned Why are you weak Canati in midfield, midfield like right, in that position for now? Canati's Canati's too um. He's he's too. I think he's just too big and. Like clumsy, really, for that role. Well, uh, Van Dyke, just for one game. Um, Would you risk it? Or what about Matip, who's played there before? Yeah. Yeah. I know he's a hit and miss now, but I suppose <laughs> he can have like a number of great games and then one just <laughs> one little mishap. We've, we've been in, we've been interrupted, Charlie, by Jamie. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay. He's come to see our sick cat. Yeah. Young Sam. He's so what, what happened to... Jamie was on a podcast before, remember? Talking yeah. about whatnots and stuff. So. It's that and the other. And I'm sure Jamie will make another appearance when... Yeah, well, Jamie will. We're... Defensive midfielder. <laughs> yeah. If we... Yeah. Hopefully. Yes. Well, we are running out of time now. Tom. Tom. Okay. Tommy. But I just Sorry, wanted to do a short ready? podcast because it's been a while and I want to get them out there. And 
yeah. so people can listen to our crap and then get annoyed with us. Well, I think I think we did cool. quite well on this one. I think and call us top reds. <laughs> yeah. We're not top reds, by the way. No. We're not FSG we're, we're, in I'm, or I'm FSG out, okay? We're just, we just want Liverpool to yeah. do well and we get frustrated both ways. I know I do. And to, everyone in the group knows how frustrated I get. Yeah, which but you, I don't, you shouldn't. I don't want to get like that on the podcast. I like, just get annoyed no, at each you, time because then it will just that, turn out like Arsenal fan TV. Yeah. There's no point. There's no point in having to go at the owners, having to go at this, sat in the other. Because in reality, we don't know enough. It but is a bit. Know... I will say it's a bit of a me- mess up. Mess up? Mess? Bit of a mess. mess I'm going to say a bit of a mess. And we're trying to cl- yeah, like, clean it up. The timing wrong. Yeah, the time was the wrong. wrong. Yeah. But kind of a bit of a, I would say a little bit of a panic with the, this uh, transfer bid. But. I think they had to do it because of Lavia, because Chelsea was sniffing around him. Yeah, and I think not that they the need whole, him, but be, they're doing it like despitefully. Well. Yeah, they're trying to get us yeah. off the the scent of um, the Brighton player. So that's what we have to do. I I don't think they can afford to get both anyway. <laughs> no, Chelsea. I don't think they can get. Lavia no, there might be some fines them. happening otherwise, or yeah. points deduction. So I don't think that's going to happen. We don't know what's happening right now. This is bids going in, no. uh, or supposedly. We, we could still end no... up with it. <laughs> <laughs> we have the bid, remember that. But if it happens, it happens, and we've got well, money what in. What we do know is that we actually bid. That's all we know as a fact. <laughs> yeah. Right? We know all... That is true. And also, we did have the money, but we were just being cautious on certain players, if they were worth it, worth that. Budget. That's all. I think we've been burned before with maybe, you know, Kia are not, not working out. Now. Yeah. And some other players getting injured and things like that. So our There was a Newcastle player, probably... wasn't there, at one point? It didn't work out. Yeah. And that was their time as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was their time. So yeah. you, you're going to be cautious. There's players that have not quite worked. Nunez, I would say he has worked to a point and he's going to get better. Oh, yeah. <coughs> our other two players... Season, yeah. yeah, our other two players that have come in, they're doing all right. Yeah, McAllister looks good. I think McAllister will look better once he's got someone in there that can defend. <coughs> yeah, just to cover. And just to... Yeah. Because we need that I structure. As a, as a defensive midfielder. Yeah. That would be a terrible, terrible idea. No, we don't want that. No. That should be rather bollocks, mate. No, we don't want that. Okay, no then. Sh- shall we go? <laughs> okay, la. Okay, la. Okay, everyone. Uh, it was short, like uh, Tom. And what? we will uh, see you next time. Some other Tom that you know, <laughs> not me. <laughs> Definitely not me. All right. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.